Hello once again everybody, visiting with Brian Johnson of the Montag Company and Montag uh, deals with cover crops, seeding the cover crops and I suppose during the summer months Brian you uh, do a lot of traveling throughout the country telling farmers and uh, those who would like to learn all about Montag. Yes I do, it's, uh, it's a very busy travel schedule. I look at my next 90 days and I'm gone most of it. Okay, we were talking a little bit before we started talking with our audience here and uh, discussing uh, the last several years and how much over the years uh, cover crop technology, if you will, has changed. And uh, I guess you're seeing that, working with it all the time. What, what kind of comments do you get from farmers? Do they ask about what's down the road? Yeah, so uh, the, the interesting thing about cover crop and farmers and where we're coming with it is the, one of the things I hear so much about is I got into cover crop to maybe help with some erosion issues, but I'm staying in cover crop because it's, it's good for my soil. So we're, we're really hearing some real good success stories from these guys out there. It's really fun to hear. So give us a little bit about your background and, and how you got started. Sure. I've, I've been in production type agriculture for, for uh, 25 years with various companies. Uh, so I, I've been kind of around agriculture. I grew up in it. And uh, I went with Montag about five years ago, and uh, we, we deal with strip tillage equipment and cover crop seeding equipment. And, and it's one of the things that's really exciting is, is being able to see this, this industry grow. And, and we are really in, the, in our infancy when it comes to cover crop and the application of seed and the timing and all the different things. So we're, we're really uh, excited to see what the future's got for cover crop. Okay. Um... I suppose there might be some things that uh, you're not able to tell us, maybe that's uh, on the back burner, but uh, some things that farmers, if they ask you here at this field day, uh, what do you tell them? Sure, uh, we, we, can, we, we can start talking about goals now and helping them reach their goals. So we, we can do two different seed types and variable rate and section control. So we can go to, into a field and we can, we can meet a lot of their, their, their farming goals, it, just like they do with a planter. We can do with our seeding application equipment. And uh, so, so we're really, uh, from a technology standpoint, we're really catching up to where they want to be. So there's some really good things happening in, in the technology side of cover crop. Of course, uh, growing up on a farm and uh, knowing several farmers uh, when I was younger, uh, they're not always uh, readily to jump and change from what they've done with their production agriculture. Uh, is there still as much of a, a, a putting the hands up and say, give me more information as before? Yeah, so uh, uh, this, this ends up being a cultural conversation because uh, for, for many years, if you grew up in agriculture, farmers have been killing everything that, that isn't a crop in their field, and uh, now we're telling them to grow something in their field along with their crop. And so it is a cultural change, and as they make that, as they put their toe in the water as, um, and they find out that there's some other benefits that happen with cover crop, uh, they're a little more open to talking about it, but it is, uh, that, that initial conversation can be interesting. Of course, one of the advantages, uh, all the nutrients that you can add to the soil. Right. So it it uh, it it pulls nutrients up from three foot down and deposits them right, right up in the growing zone. So yeah, it does a lot of really good things from 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 nutrient application uh, tie up. So you're not polluting to uh, feeding the plant more readily with uh, nutrients that, that are in the soil. Okay, I'm a little curious. From uh, one geographic area in the United States to another. Uh, are there advantages to growing this kind of co cover crop here and that kind of cover crop there? Yes, I, I would say that that's probably uh, the biggest challenge in all of cover crop is, is uh, what are your goals of cover crop and what cover crop really works well in your area. There are some certain cover crops that are, there, that are talked about everywhere, but there are other cover crops that are really kind of a regional. Will they grow well here? Will they grow well north or south or east or west? Yes, there's... I think we may have piqued the interest of some of our viewers. So if uh, some of our viewers would like to contact you, contact the company uh, in the future, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? So we're online, just like everybody, MontagMFG.com. So Montag Manufacturing, you just search that, you're going to find us. Uh, and we got all kinds of resources there and contact information. So uh, get a hold of us there. Brian Johnson has been our guest. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Thank you very much. And stay with us back with more right after this.